Oh my gosh, look at this thing is dancing. What? Well, and so this is the other thing. I'll I'll take this one out since we're talking. This one caught your attention. This is an Australian walking (laughs) stick. And so, yeah, they, they they're, there's just something about them that is really endearing and they dance like you just noticed. And so I'll take her out. And so the reason she's dancing, yeah, this is a female. And the reason she's dancing is, um, you know, what does she look like to you? A leaf. Yeah, she looks like a leaf. So in the native, you know, in her environment, um, if you look like a leaf, but you're just standing still on a tree when the wind's blowing and the other leaves are moving, you're going to stand out. So not only does she look like a leaf, she acts like a leaf. So (laughs) when she moves, she'll kind of wiggle back and forth. Um, And so this is a walking stick. It's not, you know, total vegetarian, can't um, harm you in any way. They're, They're one of my favorite ones to have and show people at the insectarium. Um, and what's the thing, what's the, um, about her being able to like mating and stuff like that? She gets to pick and well, she mates with the guy? She, they're, they're really interesting. So a lot of walking sticks, um, she's got a choice. So she can reproduce on her own if she wants to. So it's called um, parthenogenesis where she doesn't need a male to um, lay eggs and have offspring. So if she doesn't actually mate, physically mate, She'll lay eggs that are going to produce little mini me's. Um, oh so little gosh. tiny versions, um, carbon copies of herself. The only way, um, and of all those eggs that she lays, if she doesn't mate, they're all going to be female. So the only way a male can actually be born is if she mates with a male, and then some of the eggs will produce males. So That's crazy. Um, so she she's got a lot of choices in terms of what she <laughs> wants to do. Um, you could see here, just now she kind of curled her tail up a little bit. So these things really are, are, they're totally harmless, but the only thing she will do if I touch her on the back here, she'll curl her, her tail up a little bit. Uh-huh. And so the thought is, is that it mimics a scorpion's tail kind of curling up over their back. So that's her only defense is, no, not at all. I mean, she doesn't have any body parts that can sting or anything like that, but she can maybe fool something into thinking that, that she Got might it. sting you. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll be right back with Glenn from the Mozilla Insectarium.